Oh no. Hi, I'm so glad you're here. Recently, I was looking at the rest of the year and trying to plan out my projects and realized that I have a ton of sewing ideas lined up and I've been feeling a little burnt out on the sewing. So before I dive headfirst into months of sewing, I thought I'd take a little break this week and do something a little more artsy craftsy. So I'm finally going to give into this impulse that I've been feeling for a while and make a little guy. Like this little guy. This little guy. This little guy. This little guy. And this little guy. I just like making little guys. It's very fun. And I've been wanting to make another one, but I haven't really known what or who to make. I've had some ideas, but I haven't had any that really stuck except for one idea. I made this toadstool footstool and I recently used it in my fairy photo shoot and while I was putting it back in my living room I realized what kind of little guy I wanted to make. The memory suddenly came forward and I remembered a childhood character called Mushroom Man. He was basically just a little mushroom man and uh, he's a superhero very much in the vein of classic Superman and his sidekick Sprout which is just this little daisy that acts like a dog. So then I started looking for any old drawings of Mushroom Man that I had done as a kid and I found one of my old comic books of Mushroom Man and Sprout. This one was called Mushroom Man Goes to Paris. Very fitting with the Olympics going on right now. I don't know if I have any more in my childhood home but this is all I had in my files of drawings and comics and story ideas that I've kept over the years. Nothing is more humbling than looking at your childhood art. So this is Mushroom Man. Look at, look at those little muscles. Those little little muscles. Reading this was very funny. There's the villain. It was a, a watering can and his two little evil henchmen were these two little drops of poison. And because it's written like an old cartoon, he kidnaps Mushroom Man's girlfriend, Mushroomella, because of course he did. I'm surprised I didn't have him tie her to the train tracks. But he does take her to the top of the Eiffel Tower where Mushroom Man has to rescue her and her dog Tulip, which is a tulip. I loved Mushroom Man, so I thought it'd be fun to take this childhood drawing and try to sculpt it and make him a little guy. So that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna use air dry clay, so we're gonna do the sculpting tonight, and then tomorrow we will paint him. So that's the plan. We're gonna sculpt my childhood drawing, so let's get to it. angle because I have clay all over my hands and there's already some on the camera and I don't want to make it any uh, worse. I turned the camera on with one of my tools. They're both sculpted. Hopefully Mushroom Man will stay standing. So um, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll check on our two heroes tomorrow to see if they can be painted. So I'll see you then. Hello! It's several days later. The next day after I sculpted Mushroom Man and Sprout, I went in to check on our heroes and um, Mushroom Man had fallen over. So I um, took the top of his head off and laid them all out laying down and uh, came back to check the next day ready to film but they weren't dry. <laughs> and I seem to have forgotten in um, how long has it been? I can't recall what I bought the air dry clay for. I know it was for a different video but I don't remember what what i do remember from buying the air dry clay is that i ended up not being able to use it because it takes a long time to dry and it did i think they are oh gosh um it's been one two three four four days since i sculpted them and i think they're finally dry enough to paint the only thing is um there was quite a bit of cracking as they dried but mushroom man has a lot of cracking and it's because the clay as it dries contracts and pulls away from itself if the drying process is uneven or if the clay itself isn't thick enough and i definitely didn't make it thick enough <laughs> Sprout, our thick little boy, doesn't have much cracking on his body, but the uh, his little planter's pot definitely does. Definitely has a lot of cracking on it. So that's a shame, but I'm not sure what to do about it to fix it. So I'm just gonna paint them and call it good. This took four days to dry and I don't have four more days to wait for another like layer of clay to dry. So we're just gonna paint them and hope they look okay. So uh, let's finish them up.
the painting is all done. Uh, I almost forgot his spots, um, which would have been a shame because I remember from drawing him that he has five. And I've attached them to the little base I made out of a, um, what is it? Not baby bell. Laughing cow cheese container. Um, and I covered it with some fleece and uh, they're really cute. So let's take a look. Here they are! I think they're pretty darn cute. Um, they're not very detailed because the drawings aren't very detailed. And I know this was another prompt that means more to me personally than it does to whoever's watching, but I do see videos where creators revisit their childhood art and try to redraw it. So this was kind of my first version of that kind of prompt. Maybe someday when I'm feeling more brave I'll do it with some of my other childhood art and I'll actually redraw it. <laughs> I don't know about that. But these two characters were very near and dear to my little heart as a kid, so um, it's very fun seeing them in the flesh, so to speak. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was nice to do something a little more tactile and mold something out of clay. So yeah, this was just a weird little side quest, and I really like how they turned out. If you do too, you can let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see what I'm doing next and join the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post, hit the notification bell, and YouTube will let you know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!